Hey everyone and welcome to the club and welcome to another weekend art challenge. Today I'll be fusing Beast Boy and Kid Flash from Teen Titans Go. So let's get started by drawing in Beast Boy's main facial feature. So I'm going to get started in the center of my page with the eyes. Starting on the left side, let's draw on the lower eyelid. So we're going to draw a curve starting from the outside, curve up, and then in. Let's leave a gap in the center and do the same thing on the right side. So we're going to line up the inside, curve up, and then down towards the right. Now we're going to tuck two circles in underneath the lower eyelid. So starting on the left, we're going to create a little overlap. So we're going to come in, curve around, and then back in on the inside again, leaving a little bit of an overlap on the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. From here, I want to push the pupils towards the inside. So on the left side here, I'm going to draw an oval, starting from the top, come around to the bottom, and then back to the top. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So let's line up the top of the pupil. Now on the left side of each pupil, we're going to draw a small circle for a highlight. And then we're going to go in and fill in the pupils in black. Now right in the center here, in between the lower eyelid, we're going to draw on the nostrils. So on the left side, we're going to draw an angled line, coming down and out. Leave a little space and do the same thing on the right side. Now at the bottom of the line, we're just going to draw a short angled line going up and out. Now let's connect the top and the bottom with a straight line and we'll fill in the nostrils black. Now let's go in and tuck the mouth in underneath the eyes. So we start on the left side, we're going to curve down in the middle and then back up on the right side. Now let's draw on the lower part of the mouth. So we're gonna connect these two points with a curve coming down to the bottom. Starting on the left, curve down, and back up on the right. Now we're gonna add the top row of teeth. So on the left side, we're gonna step in, draw a short angled line coming down towards the fang. Then we're gonna draw a short angled line going up and in. Now we're gonna follow that same curve going over towards the right side. We're not gonna go all the way. We're gonna go up to about here. Now from here we're just going to draw an angled line going up. On the bottom right side of the mouth we're going to draw a fang in the opposite direction going up with a straight line and then coming down. Now let's draw a curve along the bottom edge of the mouth for the tongue. So we're going to start on the left side, we're going to go up and then down towards the fang. Let's fill the inside part of the mouth in black. Now let's move back up and draw on the large eyebrow. So on the left side, we're going to start just above the eye. We're going to curve up and then in and slightly down on the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. So we're going to leave a gap in the center. Let's line up the inside, curve up, and then down towards the side of the eye. Now from the inside line, we're going to draw a short line going up. And then on the outside, we're going to draw a slightly shorter line going up. And then we're going to connect these two points with a curve. Starting from the outside, curve in. Now let's go in and fill the eyebrows in black. Okay, so now that we've drawn on the face, let's go ahead and draw on the top edge of Kid Flash's mask. So in between the eyebrows, I'm going to locate the center, draw a point. From this point, I want to curve up and out towards the left, just above the eyebrow. And we'll go up and out towards the right. Now from here, we're going to curve around the eyebrow to the side of the head. So on the left side, we're going to curve down, just past the side of the eyebrow. Now from here, we're going to round out the side of the head down towards the jaw, about the same height as the mouth. So start on the left side, curve out, 
and then we'll start to pull that back in. Now I'm going to round out the side of the jaw in towards the chin. So let's start on the left side. I'm going to round this out. Just come down below the chin and then round out the jaw on the right side. Now let's draw on the lower edge of the mask. So we're going to start just above the nose. At the top here we're going to start with a point. From this point I'm going to angle down and out just in between the eye and the nostril. And down just above the mouth. Do the same thing on the right side. Now from this point, I want to follow that same curve of the mouth going out towards the side underneath the eye. Up to right about there. We'll do the same thing on the right. And then from here, we're going to curve out and down towards the jaw. Now at the top of the head, I'm going to give him Kid Flash's hair. So we're going to start from this corner here. I'm going to curve up and out towards the left. Now we're going to pull that back in, so tapering this line, coming in. Now we're going to draw a larger curve going over towards the left again. So going up, and then out. Now again, I'm going to pull this back in, curving in, and then slightly down. Now let's do that again. So from this point, we're going to curve up, and then out. Now we're going to pull that back in towards the center, so going up, and then down. Now from here, I'm just going to draw a tiny one right here. So going up and out. Now we're going to pull this over towards the right. So going over and in towards the side of the head. Now from here, I'm going to draw one more point. Going up, slightly over towards the left. Now from here, I want to make my way down towards the top right side of the mask. So we're going to go out and we'll pull that in towards the side of the head. Let's go in and draw Beast Boy's ears on the side of the head. So from the top of the mask, we're going to step down Draw a curve going up and out towards the left. We're going to line up the right side and do the same thing. From here, we're going to curve down and in. So on the left side, we're going to taper this line coming in and start to pull that down. And the same thing on the right. Now we're going to do a curve coming in the opposite direction towards the earlobe. I want to leave a little bit of space in between the head. And then from here, we're going to curve up and in. Let's add some detail to the inside of the ears. So about halfway along the top curve, come in and then out. And then we'll pull this in the opposite direction towards the side of the head. Let's do the same thing on the right. Halfway along this curve, we're going to come in and pull that out. And then curve in the opposite direction towards the side of the head. Now from this center point, I just want to draw a little bit of texture going over towards the left. So let's start in the center. We're going to curve up and out towards the left. Go back to the middle, we're going to do that one more time. We're going to go out towards the right a little bit, and then up. Okay, so now that we've drawn the head, let's work our way down the body. I'm going to start with Beast Boy's large collar first. So on the left side, I'm just going to curve down, and then back up underneath the chin on the right side. Now underneath the collar, we're going to step down, we're going to curve out, and we'll pull in the side of the hips. So on the left side, we're going to step down, curve out, round up the hip, and then we'll just pull that in. We're gonna take that and flip it over on the right side. So let's take this top point, curve out the side of the body, and at the bottom, we're just gonna pull that in. In between these two points, we're gonna leave a little gap and draw a straight line in the middle for the lower torso. Now we're gonna draw in the top of the legs. From these two points, we're gonna draw two straight lines coming down towards the knee. And then on the outside, we'll do the same thing. So same length line, on either side. From this inside, we're going to curve in and then down towards the heel. So let's start on the left side, we're going to curve in and then pull that down. We'll do the same thing on the right side. I want to leave a little bit of space in the inside here. Now let's round out the bottom of the feet. So from heel to toe, we'll curve down and back up. Now we're going to square off the front of the foot. On the left side, I just want to draw a short curve coming up and in. Right about there, we'll do the same thing on the right. We'll curve the top of the foot, so we're going to do a hard turn, curving in slightly. Now we're just going to connect the knee to the top of the foot with the curve going out. So going outwards and then down. 
Let's add a little bit of detail to the bottom of the shoe. So from this corner of the toe, we're gonna curve down and in. We're gonna leave a little space at the bottom here. We're gonna follow the same curve of the bottom of the foot towards the heel. And then right here, we're gonna curve in towards the inside of the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting from the toe, we'll curve down. Follow that curve along the bottom of the foot towards the inside. And then we'll curve up and in towards the inside of the leg. Let's add a lightning bolt detail along the leg. Starting on the outside of the leg, we're gonna angle down and in. We'll do a short angled line going up and out. And I'm just gonna follow that same angled line coming down towards the inside of the leg. Let's take that and flip it over on the right side. So we're gonna start on the inside. We're gonna go up and out. Go down with a short line. Go back up and out towards the side of the leg. Let's move back up to the body and draw in the large lightning bolt. So from the center, we're gonna move over towards the right. Draw an angled line coming down towards the left. We're gonna go straight across with a short line. We're gonna come down again with a longer line, short line across. Now we'll come down towards the bottom. Now we're just gonna follow this all the way up to the top again. So from the bottom, we're gonna go up and out. Come in with a short line. Go up and out again. We'll come in. Now we're gonna connect these two points with a straight line. Now just above the lower torso, we're gonna draw a point right in the middle. From this point, we're gonna angle up and out towards the left. Then from the middle, we'll go up and out towards the right. We're gonna come in with a short line. Now from this point, we're gonna angle up and out towards the side of the body. Now let's move to the side and draw in the arms. From this point, I'm gonna step down, curve out, and then down towards the wrist. We're gonna do the same thing on the right. So we step down to the same height. Now I just want to overlap this line with the edge of the cuff. So we're going to step in, curve out, and then up. Now I'm just going to follow that same curve on the outside of the arm in behind the collar. So step out to the outside and curve in. Do the same thing on the right. Now on the left side, we're just gonna draw on the side of the cuff. For the outside, we're just gonna angle down and out towards the left. Do the same thing on the inside. Now let's connect those two points with a curve. We'll do the same thing on the right side. From the inside, we're just gonna angle down and out. On the outside, we're gonna make this one a little bit longer. Now we're gonna connect those two points with a curve. Now we're gonna tuck the fist in underneath the cuff. So on the left side, we're gonna step in from this point Draw a little half circle for the thumb. At the end of the thumb, we'll draw a bracket. Now at the bottom of this thumb, we're gonna curve around the bracket and go up. We'll step down, curve out and up for the second finger. And then the third finger is gonna go all the way around in behind the cuff, making sure there's a little overlap on the cuff here. Let's take that hand and flip it over. So from this corner, we're gonna step in, draw a little half circle, then draw that bracket. At the bottom of the thumb, we're gonna go around the bracket and go up. We're gonna step down, draw another curve, and then the third finger is gonna go all the way around in behind the cuff, and that's pretty much it. There we have it, there's our Beast Boy and Kid Flash Fusion. I hope you enjoyed today's art challenge. Make sure you subscribe and send me your challenge ideas in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.